Hello. So this is the Mark V prototype of a scalpel mouse here on the left. The main changes compared to the previ previous version is that uh, it now uses uh, the PCB of a Glorious D wired mouse instead of a custom PCB. So that's going to be cheaper, better, and much more widely available. Also, uh, we reduce the distance between the pivot point and the sensor. So this distance here is now shorter than this distance here. Um, I thought that uh, having an extra length would make your flick faster. And it sort of does um, when you go like this. If you have a longer reach, obviously, you, you, you must move faster. But the problem is that when you move your mouse like this, instead of doing a flick, the, the, the distance is now different. So it's like it's a little bit like if your uh, sensitivity was changing on the fly. And uh, another change is that there's now there's this little cross in relief that bulges out a little bit. These two crosses, you see, these crosses are straight above the sensor. So they will let you feel exactly where the sensor is. And that way, if your cursor doesn't go exactly where you want, where you wanted it to go, you'll know immediately what you did wrong. Uh, basically, this, this cross is going to be the exact same thing as the your reticle in an FPS game. So if you move this cross in this direction here, 45, for example, 45 degrees in this direction, your cursor, your reticle in an FPS game is going to move in exactly the same direction. So I'm hoping that is going to make it more intuitive to use, which is going to lower the brain power required to aim. And in turn, this is going to let you uh, focus more on other parts of the game. And last but not least, it's going to be open source. So you can have it 3D printed by your own Glorious D, Glorious Model D mouse and have your own for cheap. So basically, there's a, a few more modifications I want to make. I want a version that uses keyboard keys instead of mouse, mouse keys. Well, keyboard switches, sorry, instead of um, mouse switches. Um, I'm going to add some Unicom mesh to make it lighter uh, for people who like it lighter and also to save on the uh, 3D printer filament. And then I need to test it because imagine I'm putting out a, a file that doesn't work and that would be embarrassing. And I'm hoping that uh, this is going to be done and ready in two weeks. Stay tuned. Bye.